Hi everyone, good evening, good morning and afternoon. I am Jordi James. I've got you next for the next hour, half an hour. I'm very excited. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I am uh, just going to have a bit of a chat first before we go into our callers. I am from, uh, live from Wallen, Australia, which is beautiful at the moment in the grips of our final, grand final for football. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to the grand final tomorrow. I've actually uh, got clients today, so we've got tomorrow off to watch the footy, which I'm very excited about. So, and I know you guys have just started over in the States of your uh, your NFL season, and I absolutely love NFL. My husband used to play over here, actually, I used to play gridiron over here and absolutely love it. So, uh, today I want to talk about, now it's really interesting just before I sort of stepped in uh, for the radio show, is that I know last week I sort of mentioned uh, about unsolicited readings and things like that, and uh, it was quite interesting as I was just getting ready for the show, I connected on my Facebook page and someone actually had an unsolicited sort of reading and really made her feel really quite uneasy. Uh, guys, just be mindful that if people come up to you in the street and say, oh, look, I've got this, this and this person around you, just say it's not, it's not on. They should not, professionally should not say it or do anything like that. Um, for you in the street or get up in your personal space. Uh, uh, it's just, it's not on. We just can't do that. So professionally, as professional readers of professional mediums, and I know all the beautiful mediums and and readers and, and the beautiful mentors on this radio show or radio station, uh, they don't uh, have, uh, they, they know not to do that. So professionally, when we're trained, we are, told ethics, all that authenticity, uh, the ethics are we just don't go up to any random stranger and say, oh, I see your grandfather around you. doesn't work. So it, it's all personal space. So, And you don't ask a doctor for advice in the street. They've got offices and they've got ways of doing that. So, yeah, so that's my little thing. So just be mindful that if someone does come up to you, just say no. Uh, it's it's just not right. They should not be getting into your personal space uh, when you're out and about doing shopping. And the same goes when I'm actually shopping or going out. I don't want people or I would not like people to come up and go, do you see anyone around me? Yeah, it doesn't work like that either. We, we have to be in the right space. We have to be uh, in the right mindset. Uh, we've also got to be the fact that when we do that, it's not like our, we, it, we're not like comedians or doctors or anyone that has a profession to go, oh, just snap your fingers and you're there. Just We need to make sure that we're in the right headspace and we're actually disconnected from ourselves so we're actually in the space with spirit and with you. So that's my little talk this week. So please be mindful, look after yourselves, set your boundaries, uh, and when you have boundaries and foundations, then you're grounded, then you know people can't just walk up to you and ask you questions. So, yes, or give you give you information that is totally wrong or totally uh, misinterpreted. It just, yeah, sort of my little gripe. So, but thank you so much for listening. I hope that makes sense to everyone. But this week actually is going to be a really awesome week because I know we've just come out of the moon of Aries and this is like Aries is like a go-getter and, and very much air, which for me, air is in your, like when we think. So our thoughts manifest into things that we want them to be. So being aware of that is awesome. So I hope you did some workings with the full moon because it was beautiful. It was also very <sighs> full on as well. And we are now coming into our spring and all our beautiful spring flowers are out and starting anew, whereas you guys are going in the fall. So fall is starting to harvest what summer have given you. So still on the manifesting uh, phase, but it's it's like now harvesting, being uh, more fruitful of what you've manifested throughout the summer. So things are starting to happen for you guys, whereas us, we're getting our new beginnings from our winter sort of solstice, which is when we hibernate. So we, we manifest in our hibernation all ready for the new beginnings coming up for spring and then summer is like full power and then it's sort of, yeah, 
So I hope that makes sense. As I'm rambling on, which is what I do. So I have Fanny from Harrisburg in Pennsylvania. Hi, Fanny. How are you going? I'm doing great. Thank you. Oh, that's good. Now, I'm a psychic medium. Oh, how's the weather, by the way? Is it sort of cleared up a little bit for you guys now? Yes, it has. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's good. Okay. <laughs> Did you want to go psychic or mediumship or a bit of both today? A bit of both. Yep. Perfect. All right, cool. That's good. Because I do want to say you've got two, I feel like you've got two questions, but it's more a case of just, for me, the way I'm receiving this information for you is more confirmation on what you're actually getting. Now, I know that you're very intuitive. I know you're very sensitive. You've got this beautiful way of just knowing. Uh, yeah, It's like a knowing, like a, what we call a clear cognizance. You just know that things are going to go ha- happen right and things are you need to go left instead of right. You've got this really good intuition and very uh, like knowing is what I want to say. So for me, what I'm going to give you today is just confirmation is what I'm hearing, confirmation for you of what you've been receiving. Now, I know there's two questions. Now, it's interesting. I feel like you're playing with or whether or not you're sort of balancing act, whether or not you want to change work or or do a few more things that you – it's like I want to say for me is you doing normal mundane work or going into mm-hmm. healing or going into something different. Uh, and it's like I want to say your hobby or your passion is going to start becoming more of a job for you, but a really beautiful job because the more we work our passions, the more uh, we we love and we just – life just gets easier when we when we work in our passions. So does that make sense to you? I feel like there's a contemplation there. I feel like you're, you're ready to start moving or changing hours. Yes. There's, just a, there's just a reference there of you being able to do more of your passion or more. And I, I do feel like you're a healer or I feel like you, you work with – spirit or you work with that sort of sense i i'm not sure where that sits i know it's there but i don't know where it sits but i know that there's that contemplation for you but i feel like you're ready to take the leap it's like you want to take the leap but i know there's a cushion for you and if you don't take it i know spirit will push you there's just a reference to spirit pushing you (laughs) because that's what they did to me at the start of the year so I <laughs> just need to make you aware that as much as we contemplate and take our time taking that leap of faith, if it's not on if it's not on their time frame and they want to push us, they will. So just be mindful yeah. and be prepared that that leap of faith is going to work for you because I really feel like you've got all your grounding, all your foundations. And I know, so are you a healer or a reader or there's a reference to this for you? Huh. There is. There is? Are you there? Yes. Yeah, F- Fanny, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Oh, awesome. So is there a reference to you doing healing or the, uh, I don't know if you're in the nursing or there's some sort of reference to working with energy, but I know I can feel this around you. No, I just have a lot of energy around me. Okay. I've always had a lot of energy around me. Okay. Because I just feel that the way you work, I know there's something coming up for you that is your passion that's going to step in. So I'll leave that with you. But I know there's that reference of whether or not you want to take the leap of faith. I also feel like I've got someone here Oh, and I'm feeling really heavy with my breath. And I, it's like I want to say it's burning in my chest every time I breathe. So I don't know if it's emphysema or asthma, but there's a reference to this. And I feel like it's a gentleman standing behind me. And he's got this gorgeous, great big grin that I cannot stop looking at. He's got this gorgeous smile. I feel like he had issues with his teeth, but I feel like his teeth are perfect now. Like there's no issues with his teeth right now. And uh, I know that he may have had issues with his teeth when he was here. There's just a reference, but he's got this gorgeous, but great big smile. And I do feel like he was 78 to 80 or maybe a little bit older than that. Is this a grandfather for you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. On dad's side of the family? Yeah. Thank you. He wants to take his hat off to you and I, he wants to make reference to being there for the family and knowing that is there five children? Is your dad one of five or are you one of five? 
my dad is. Thank you. And I do want to say the way he's he's showing me, he's like he's tipping off his hat. He's got this beautiful fedora hat on his head. And I do want to say that he's a very smart dresser or he's, he's got, he's a very smart dress sense now. So if he didn't have a lot of suits, I want to make reference to he's wearing gorgeous, not like black and like penguin suits. I want to make reference to a uh, beautiful sort of tweed or sort of beautiful sort of brownie sort of suits he's wearing. But he's very down to earth. He's got this, and I don't know if he smoked, but I just feel also, actually, he's showing me a cigar, so I don't know if he used to smoke cigars, but there's a reference to that. But I feel like I'm burning in my lungs. So is there a George or a G name on that side as well I want to bring through? But I just want to say he, he wants to just give you a massive hug, and I feel like you guys may not have connected as much in the physical but he just wants to make reference to he's around you and I know you feel him around you. So I just want to make reference to that. Now he's also wanting to say to you, he wants to make reference to you that what you're, you need to stop putting yourself down. I feel like this is where the other question is at the moment. I feel this is where he wants to come through. He wants to say you need to start giving back to yourself because you give so much to everyone else. You don't receive Mm -hmm. yourself. So you don't do things for yourself. You don't take yourself out on a coffee date. You don't take yourself out to read a book. Uh, and there's there's just that reference of getting back to the things that you love to do is really important. And I feel because it's like I want to say if whether or not your last child's left the nest or there's a reference to uh, not, be, not, wor- not worried about little ones or worried about people around you anymore that you have to look after, you can actually look after yourself. And I feel like that's a big message for you from him. Now, has has Dad passed? No. Okay, so Dad's still here because he's just making me aware yeah. that he needs to say hello to Dad because there's a reference to um, Dad feeling, oh, okay, I wish he would just say that. I love when spirit comes through, they give me bits and pieces and they don't give me the full sentence. Until, so I do apologise, I misread this. He wants to make reference to since his dad has passed, I feel like your dad's been a little bit lost. Mm-hmm. And he's only, it's, it's sort of, I want to say in the last two to three months, he's been a little bit lost. So can I leave that with you? But I know he's very much around him at the moment, giving a big hello to him. Okay. So I'll leave that with you, Fanny. Now, okay, let me just see if there's anything else. Okay. And, uh, oh, okay. Thank you. There's also about relationships as well. So do you have a partner, yes? Yes. Okay. There's something about, uh, I love it, because I know it's full over there, but I feel like there's spring in your step. I feel like the relationship's going to start anew. There's a new sort of phase in this relationship that's going to be a little bit stronger. And I'm also seeing a passport. So I don't know if you guys are going overseas or there's a holiday coming up at the end of the year. I want to say either Christmas or New Year, but I want to give you a reference to a passport and you're going overseas. So can I leave that with you? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Uh I don't think I've got anything else for you. So may I leave that with you? Do you have any questions I haven't touched on, Fanny? No, you're good. Okay, perfect. May I leave that with you, Fanny? Thank you so much for allowing me to connect with you. You've actually got a gorgeous energy and I'm also being told to make sure you keep an eye on your right knee. So I don't know if you have issues or arthritis or there's some sort of reference to it locking. I want to say there's locking around the right knee. Uh, it's like I want to say that whether or not you're doing physio or massage, but just be mindful of that right knee of yours. Would that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Fanny. I hope that I hope that makes sense. Okay. I have Gina from Austin. Hi, Gina. How are you going? <laughs> Hi. How are you? Can you hear me? Okay. Good. Yeah, can you hear me okay? Uh, yeah, they just they were having a little trouble hearing me before, so. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> there's something about the storms and everything, but we're not going to touch on that because spirit will just take that and run with it, and we don't want that to okay. happen. <laughs> okay. okay. So, 
Uh, okay, so Gina, did you want to? I'm a psychic medium. Did you want to go psychic or mediumship or a bit of both? I'm sorry, I couldn't understand. Because... Okay, did you want to go psychic or mediumship or a bit of both? Um, psychic, I think, is the way to go. Psychic. <laughs> okay, sure. I have no control if anyone steps in. I just need to make you aware of that, okay? Of course. Because I will go into psychic for you. Now, it's interesting. I want to say you've got a lot of questions, but I know there's either three or four questions that you really want to sort of answer at the moment. And it's, I want to say, it's like, well, it, for you, you're in this sort of limbo stage at the moment. Would that make sense to you with a lot of different things in your life? I feel like hey, there's a yeah. few things that you st- yeah, I want to sort of step you back a little bit. And it's interesting because when we step back and we're not so emotionally connected to things and we have a different perspective, things may be a little bit clearer for you. Now, interesting, I want to say, I feel that there's a family, there's like family coming in, giving you a lot of different advice of what's going to happen or what's what's happening around your life and I feel that you want to please you're a people pleaser would that make sense to you well actually I am um other than my children I'm really estranged from my family but the second piece of that is true (laughs) okay because this is where okay this is where I want to say I feel this is what I'm hearing is you're getting advice from people about reconnect about advice to the family there's like advice to you about your family so whether or not it's reconnection or there's a reference to not trying to force you but trying to whether or not give you like you need to connect with your family you need to do this you need to do that because family is so important I feel like you hear this quite regularly but even though you're estranged with them I feel like the advice is starting to get a little bit on your nerves would this make sense to you it does yeah, thank you. Because I, I, I just want to say what you've done is it's it's for your sanity, not theirs. That's right. Are you one of four children or do you have four children? Um, I have three children um, and I'm one of okay. two children. Yeah. Yeah, because I – so are you – okay, because I see four. That's all. I can see four children. Okay, thank you. Because it's interesting because I want to say when I'm connecting with your energy, I just want to make reference to I feel like you're very much in limbo. Now, I do feel like work is one of your grounding forces and so is your your husband. Would I make sense? Your marriage, yes? You have got a husband? Well, actually, that's sort of what is on my mind is that I was was divorced a few years back and that's fine. (laughs) That's a good thing. But I since then um, met and was with the love of my life who um, abruptly left me and yep. uh, moved away to Canada and left me. Um, okay. And um, Oh, that's really, okay. So that's kind of what I'm sitting with right now. That's what. Yeah, that's right. the that limbo. Okay. Okay. So, okay, let me just have a look because this is the limbo. That would make sense. Okay. Because it's interesting because I want to say, there's someone coming for you. I can see them around you and they're like, I want to say they're a husband or a partner, but I know the next one, which I feel like is only a three to four months away. Now it's interesting with this past relationship. He, okay. Oh, there's a reference to him. Would I make reference to him that he was, is he quite solid, like a solid build, like really square shoulders and very solid or rock? across the shoulders and the arms. Would that make sense to you? Okay, thank you. And I don't feel like he was a bodybuilder, but, yeah, I know he's got a really good physique. Like, he's got an athletic physique around him. And I do want to say he he, he he was was a bodybuilder. He is, yeah. Thank you. Because I want to say he's got this beautiful sort of physique around him. But I do want to say there's something about it wasn't you about this relationship. If he's moved, it wasn't about you. It's him. And it's interesting because I want to say that it's not the fact that he didn't want to – I feel like he he got really close to you, like there was a real closeness there. I could even see a soulmate around him with you, but there's a reference there that something about his lie pulled him away. Now, I know it's not you. There is no way, shape, or form that it was you. I feel like it was 
more about what he what was going on in his life but also in his mind as well he's a beautiful soul don't get me wrong but there's something about going and not being uh i feel like there's a little bit of fright there or a little bit of fear there in the relationship because he knew how strong it was and mm-hmm. it, i feel like there's a reconnection but i don't feel like it's going to be uh, like you're living together or anything, but I know there's a reconnection probably in the next four to five weeks, but there's a reference to reconnecting or connecting with you again. But there's just something about a friendship there that it, I don't feel like it's going to go back to a full-blown relationship at this stage. But okay. there's a reference to someone being of whether or not he's around the same, uh, I just want to say re- around the same circle or someone of, his friends or mate that uh, I just want to say an acquaintance that you know from around him will come through for you, Gina. And I feel like there's there's going to be a reference to a new man or relationship next year or the relationship rekindling again. And it's going to be around February, March of next year. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't want to but, move on. Um, I don't, yeah. I mean, I, I think, just, you know, he's, he, he's just he a reference to, I didn't believe in soulmates yeah. before him, but he definitely yeah. is. So, yeah, but I just want to say, I don't, it's like I want to say there's something about whether or not he comes, it's like I want to say there's a, a newness or there's a reconnection, there's a connection of someone, but there's, I know that he, he might be the one I'm not. I don't want to sort of put all my chickens in the in the hen house yet, <laughs> but I just want to say mm-hmm. there's a reference to there's a reconnection. I know in the next th- uh, four to five weeks with with both of you. So I don't know if you guys chat at all, but I know there's a reference there. But it's to do with him, not you, and that's the reason why he's moved away. There's just a reference okay. there. There's something about him trying something out and then coming back. I'm not sure, but that's where I feel that it comes through. Okay. So I, I just want to sense. say with you right now it's more about uh, reconnecting with yourself and knowing okay thank you I want to sit down and have a cup of tea with you and just chat because you've got a beautiful life story around you and I do want to say that your kids have you got two children I have three children okay because I want to say the two oldest ones are very much mm-hmm. of your support. They're, they're like very much like you. They've given you support and everything. But I just want to That's say they're true. pillars of strength. <laughs> your youngest one is your youngest one like two or three? No, he's um, he's five, but he's, okay, he's a thank lot younger you. than the other two. So yeah, thank you. Because I just want to make reference to he's got this beautiful childlike innocence, like this little elfy sort of beautiful. Because I literally thought that. He had this beautiful, sensitive energy around him, and I can see him like being, you know, like the elves and the fairies and the it all that sort of stuff. That's what I can like see that. around. That's very Thank accurate. You. Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> so he he's the play. He's like the playful soul for you, whereas the other two it are is. more a sort of grounding for you. And you have a girl, That's yes. Very on, yes, yes, yes. The yeah. eldest is a girl. Is, the other two are boys, and yes. Okay, because I want to make reference to your sec- your boy, the oldest boy. I feel like he's the one that's older. So I feel like your your daughter and your second, your boy, they need to, for me, the way their energy and maturity, I need to swap them only because I feel like your oldest son is more of the man of the house and he's very grounding and he will stand by you uh, through thick or thin and your daughter's there to keep you with the compassion. There's just... Those two things I want to make reference to with you. But I do want to say where you're going, it's like your work, you work, I know you work, and I just want to say (laughs) that keeps you anchored or there's a work element that keeps you anchored and it's like I want to say you feel a little bit mundane at the moment. I feel like there's there needs to be like you need to go out and see a band or you need to go to a jazz club um, with a couple (laughs) of girlfriends there's uh-huh. just a reference to <laughs> changing things up a little bit for you to have a little bit more of giving back to yourself is what I want to say to you, Gina. Uh, yeah. 
And I do want to say there's a grandmother, I feel like a grandmother's coming in just quickly and giving you a beautiful sponge cake or a beautiful cake that's got cherries on it and it's like macerated uh-huh. cherries. It might be Black Forest, I'm not sure. But she just wants to give you a big cake. So is there like a birthday or celebration around you in the next month? Oh. I want to say end of September, <laughs> October. Very sweet. Thank you. Okay. So very, there's very just a sweet. reference that she wants to give that to you as a birthday present. But I've only got a couple of seconds. So can I please leave that with you, Fanny? Uh, sorry, with Gina. Sorry, I had Fanny yeah, before. That's okay. Gina. It's, also um, it's okay. And it, it, I feel like there's a Fanny reference in the family as well. That's really interesting. I don't know if there's another, like, or oh, there's Fran or there's a reference there. But can I leave that with you, Gina? Please connect with me with Geordie Jane's uh, Psychic Medium on Facebook, Gina. May I leave that with I will. you? Thank you so much for your time. I really do Thank appreciate you. it. Thank Not you. a problem. Everyone have a lovely weekend and I will see you all next week. Thank you so much to my callers and uh, have a good weekend, everyone. Thanks. Bye.